If you live in Leesburg, I'd encourage you to take a few minutes and watch this video. I'm going to talk about the Leesburg Executive Airport and a recent decision by the FAA which poses a significant safety risk to our community. First, a little background. In 2014, the Swedish company Saab approached Leesburg as a test site for a new remote tower system. The system was installed and in 2016, the FAA began evaluations. Since 2018, there has been continuous air traffic control at Leesburg Executive Airport with zero operational failures. In July 2021, the FAA issued technical requirements that Saab needed to meet that would allow system design approval. These new requirements were far more stringent than what Saab had been working towards in the beginning. As such, they decided that they would no longer pursue system design approval. A few weeks ago, on February 21st, the FAA notified Leesburg that it would end the program effective June 14th of this year. So the FAA has decided to end a program that has been effectively and efficiently controlling the airspace around Leesburg for the past five years. So why is it so important for the airport to operate with air traffic control? Leesburg Executive Airport is located within the Washington, D.C. Special Flight Rules Area. This is the airspace within 30 mile radius of Washington that was created for national security purposes after 9-11. It is highly controlled airspace that requires strict identification and communication. Because of the requirements of the special flight rules area, aircraft flying into and out of Leesburg are essentially funneled both horizontally and vertically through tightly defined airspace. These funnels, I use that term, it's not an ATC term, it's more to give you an idea of of the airspace and what we're doing here, are located above our neighborhoods and our parks. They're above our schools and our shopping plazas, even downtown Leesburg. Now, to be fair, there are hundreds of airports in the country that operate safely without air traffic control. But these airports have minimal traffic and are not subject to the added requirements of operating with special airspace. Within the past year, the airport has recorded over 75,000 takeoff and landings. To put this in perspective, this is similar to the volume at Norfolk International Airport and more than Roanoke and more than Williamsburg Newport News. There are five flight schools operating at Leesburg, which place new student pilots in the same airspace as large corporate jets operating at twice the speed. Almost daily, the controllers at Leesburg deconflict air traffic at the airport. I can't comment on the disagreement that exists between the FAA and Saab, but what I can say is that I believe it's irresponsible for the FAA to end the remote tower program and have no contingency plan in place other than to have the airport return to being uncontrolled. I'll finish with a very powerful quote from John Somiak. John is one of the most experienced and respected pilots in Northern Virginia and has been flying in Leesburg since 1984. So this is what John said about the FAA removing the remote tower. If it does not continue, I predict there will be chaos and incidents and accidents at this airport. So what can you do to help? Our local elected officials have been incredibly helpful, both Leesburg Town Council and the Loudoun Board of Supervisors. But Senators Kane, Warner, and Congresswoman Wexton can have real influence with the FAA. I would encourage you to email or call their office. If you have any questions, I'd be glad to discuss this further.